When it comes to subscription services, one common thing that usually uh, binds them all together is that they eventually get a price hike. Whether it's your Netflix, your Amazon Prime, your Apple TV Plus, your Spotify, you're always going to get a, sp- a price hike. And they seem to do it at least once or twice a year now unapologetically with the justification being oh you know the price hike is only a reflection of the the marketplace or uh, the cost of developing content for our subscription platform has gone up so we're just accommodating for those costs yada 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 Um, that doesn't mean we're gonna stop subscribing some of us are gonna keep doing it despite the price hike but for those who are a little bit more money conscience or subscription com- conscience let's tune into this latest update from microsoft the xbox game pass subscription service is uh, gonna have a few little tweaks and changes but the first major one is that there is gonna be a price hike for all the tiers the xbox game pass ultimate is going to increase by $13, making it $20 starting September 12th. So uh, this is going to apply to everyone who are using this tier and even from July 10th for new subscribers. Then we have the Xbox, uh, the PC Game Pass. Um, Those are people who only game exclusively on PC. You don't need to worry about any major change except for, again, another price hike that's going to go from ten dollars to twelve dollars you're still going to get access to the current uh current uh, game catalog and apparently the you're still going to get the day one feature where you get to play the latest exclusives day one release but then there is a little bit of change and it comes with the xbox game pass for consoles and the xbox game pass standard now this can be a little bit uh, tricky but for the console a cheaper option that includes day one releases in the same library available through ultimate is no longer available to new subscribers if you've already subscribed to this tier you're safe for now but your subscription will not remain uh, uh intact until the time comes to be so What's going to happen with the console tier is that it's going to be replaced with something called the uh, the Xbox Game Standard. And so it's going to include nearly everything you get with the Ultimate and even adds online multiplayer access if you're on console. But you do not have day one releases. Any Xbox exclusive release that comes out day one won't be available on the xbox game pass for consoles or now that they're calling it game pass standard yes very confusing um and a lot of people will probably not even think about this uh, if especially if you're going for monthly or annual subscriptions but it is important to note this that now microsoft and xbox are looking at the day one release as a selling point as a major feature on their subscription service because it is actually a very enticing value you know the latest big exclusive game coming out of xbox is available day one on most of these tiers if you subscribe to them whereas for example the tiers on the playstation plus whether you are on ps plus extra premium deluxe none of them actually provide day one releases for any playstation first party exclusive titles so yeah it's it might seem like a minuscule difference but it is uh, a very impactful um differentiation of value and it's something that if you are subscribed to any of these services you notice and that could even impact your decision on which subscription service you actually want the biggest value for money that xbox game pass has is that it's both available on console and pc where playstation the play the ps plus is only exclusive to the console platform which honestly it's not good it's i mean if it's not its game catalog and it doesn't the fact that it doesn't have day one uh feature releases another one is the fact that it's only on consoles This is something that Sony will probably have to change in the near future if they hope to 
perhaps catch up with Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass ser uh, service. For now, it just seems that Game Pass is a far superior subscription service than PS Plus. But if you feel otherwise, do share your thoughts and opinion and do let me know. And with that, guys, it's time to wrap it up here on the Evening Buzz. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday from 8 till 9 p.m. going live right here only on Pulse95. This is Mikel Atia signing out. Have a good one. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories. Pulse.